Hello, friends. Today, uh, let me explain four questions about rotated sorted array uh, in Likode. Please click the advertisement above for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see the four questions. Mm. The first uh, question asks us to search a target uh, element in the rotated sorted array, and uh, there are no duplicates in that uh, array. In the second question, we have duplicates uh, in the uh, rotated uh, sorted array. And uh, for the following two questions, we need to find a minimum in such uh, sorted array. And uh, th this question without duplicates. And uh, the last question with duplicates. So uh, let's think how to search a uh, value in a sorted array. Yes, we can use binary search, but this question we, uh, this array is rotated. What does rotated mean? You see, this is a sorted array, and uh, these three array are rotated sorted array. That means we, uh, move some elements, some subarray to the end of this array. So that means a sorted array. You see that. The relevant. Uh, Order is not changed, uh, except uh, this place. Like uh, we move one two, uh, zero one two to the end of the array, and uh, this means we move uh, zero one to the end of the array. So, uh, can we use binary search to do these four questions? The answer is yes, but how? When we do binary search, we need a search space and a low pointer and a high pointer. So when we rotate uh, this array, what is our, uh, our search space? Uh, we can easily get a low pointer and a high pointer and middle pointer. But how do we choose go left or go right? Because as you look carefully, when we rotate an uh, array, the either of the left or the right is still sorted. Like in this example, you will see the left part is still sorted. It's four, five, six, seven. But the right part is not sorted. We get a seven, then zero, then one, two. And in this example, also the left part is sorted, but right part is not sorted. In this example, left part is not sorted. Uh, because five six seven zero is not sorted, but right part is sorted. So you will see that uh, when we rotate array, we only have one either left or right is sorted. So that if we know either part is sorted, it is easier for us to choose the space to do continue search. Like uh, if we want to search uh, a nine. And as left part is, is sorted, because line is greater than seven, so we, uh, there is mean uh, it is meaningless for us to search in the left part because the max value in the left part is seven, so we go right. The same if the target is less than the minimum value in the left, we will still go right. Otherwise, we go left. So that's the, uh case when we choose left or right part. So let's see the code. This is without duplicate. We will first check uh, whether left or right is sorted. This part means left part is sorted. If target greater than the max value or target less than the minimum value, we go right. Else we search in the left part. This is uh, uh, when the right part is sorted. If we cannot find it, we just return negative one. But you will notice that uh, I write a equal sign here. Why? Because when you want to search the three one, uh, we we need to actually because low is zero, high is one, middle is zero. So we we actually need to go right to check right. We need to move low to the middle plus one. Uh, if we do not write the equal sign, we will just go this part. And as the target is 1, target is less than numbers middle, which is 3. So we will go this part, and we will move high um, 
backwards, so we will not find that value. In that case, we need to add a equal sign here. Mm. Uh, so when we have duplicate, how do we search a value? Uh, most things are the same except this part because they have some uh, same value in the array. So maybe we cannot uh, uh, we cannot say the left part or right part is sorted, but we can say when the right part is not sorted, we know the numbers middle is greater than numbers high. That means the right part is not sorted. Then we know uh, the left part is sorted, so we go left. It's the same. When we know the left part is not sorted, we know the right part is sorted, so we uh, go right. Then uh, this part, uh, we should notice that when all the values are the same, we just move high um, backward, let the high minus minus. So the time complexity should be bigger O n because when all the values are the same and we just keep do this part. And when we need to find the minimum value in the array, how do we do? Mm, because as you can see, when we rotate this sorted array, uh, where is the minimum value? Yes, you will see always the previous value is greater than the current value. Then current, uh, current value is the minimum value because all the things are ascending order, uh, except uh, the minimum value is and the maximum value. The same is here. So the same is here. So we just needed to find if the previous value is greater than the current value, then current value is minimum value or the the following value is uh no if current value um, is uh okay is here if current value is greater than the following value we just return the following value so okay um this is the uh, this part if we we find that we just return that if not we choose uh, which part to uh, search. Like if uh, left part is sorted, we know that uh, we needed to go right because at the beginning we check whether the whole array is sorted. If the whole array is sorted, that means number 0 is less than numbers n minus 1. Uh, the first element should be the minimum. Else, if the numbers low is less than numbers middle, that means uh, left part is sorted. So the rotated point is not in the left, so we go right. Uh, that's um, the other case. If the right part is sorted, then the rotated point should be in the left, so we go left. You should notice that uh, we uh, we write while low less than high and finally return numbers low. But when we Look up a value in the array. We write a while low less or equal than high, and we return false. Why? Because when we look up an element, we should check every element. We may not find it. So if we cannot find, we return false. So that should write equal. But in this part, we know that they always have a value. So we just uh, uh, minimize the, the third space, and finally. We just left one element that is numbers low or the numbers high because when we are at here, low is equal to high. So that's uh, the, the environment invariant of the binary search. Okay, so when we have a duplicate, how do we find the minimum value? Basically, this actually this is easier because you see when we know the when we know numbers high is less than numbers middle, we know that the rotating point is in the right, so we search in the right part. Else, if the right part is sorted, the rotating point is in the left, so we go left. But you should notice that we write high equal to middle, not high equal to middle minus 1. Because when the numbers middle is less than numbers high, the numbers middle can be our result. It can be a candidate result. So we 
can just uh, uh, let uh, high equal to middle, not middle, you, uh, not middle minus one. But if uh, they all the same, we just move high backward and the uh, final return numbers low. Uh, hopefully you can understand all these four questions. Thank you for watching. See you next time.